Hi there, Capricorn, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of October the 14th through to the 20th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for the Cappies. First up, we have uh, Knight of Wands in the upright, followed then by the Ten of Swords upright. Next, we have the Knight of Cups upright, followed then by the Six of Swords upright. And lastly, we have Major Arcana, Wheel of Fortune. What is going on here, Capricorn? All of your cards are in the upright position. Your overall energy is Pajama Man. Uh, Pajama Man was disappearing a lot for the readings uh, this year, but all of a sudden he's making a reinsurgence here. He's, he's back. He's back with a vengeance. The Knight of Wands, Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sad, Sun, Moon, or Rising. The Knight of Wands is, uh, I call him Pajama Man because he looks like he's wearing jammies for any of you who haven't heard me say that before. <laughs> but uh, Knight of Wands comes in so quick, I call him Quicksilver, he just, boom, all of a sudden there he is. Uh, it can indicate a quick sale. Great news for those of you who have something up for sale, it could be this week. It could knock your socks off how fast this this uh, this person or this entity comes in. They come in so quickly and then, you know, they're there and then they're gone. <laughs> That's the Knight of Wands for you. <laughs> uh, this could be somebody coming in, offering, um, because they do bring offers, so it could be an offer uh, that comes towards you for a quick sale. But this could also represent anything from a job offer that comes out of nowhere. It could be representing... Um, an offer to do something fun, exciting, travel. It's also passionate adventure. So this could be a friend whizzing through town who just wants to go and do something wild. Uh, let's go travel here. Or let's go do something or let's just go do something great, fun, exciting. And Capricorns at this point, I'm sure you could use some fun and excitement. If you're single and looking, this could be somebody coming in out of the blue. Very passionate energy has... Uh, has this uh, propens propensity to want to travel, to, you know, uh, go on adventures, do th just do fun things. This is a character that is always on the go. So there's that. But when it comes to offers, this can rep because this also represents business and enterprise. So you could be being offered something on the business front. So this could be a possible business partner coming in out of the blue. It could also be a possible job offer coming in out of the blue. Right at the beginning of the week, you got the Ten of Swords here in the upright position. What is going on here, Capricorn? I want to hear from you guys in the comment section below. But something here is bottoming out right at the beginning of the week sorry to tell you right off the hop uh it could be a work situation maybe you go into work and all of a sudden whoa where did that come from maybe it, but this isn't a situation that just you know all of a sudden it comes ten of swords out of the blue where there was no problem this is usually the last straw now it could be um connected to a relationship could be related uh connected to a friendship could be definitely connected to a work or career situation but it's something that just uh, th sorry buddy but this is the last straw this i'm not tolerating anymore it's a 10 remember so it's the end this is the end of it this is like the last straw i am not going to deal with this anymore um the straw that broke the camel's back. So it could be uh, some of you go into work on Monday and you just go, no, you know what? I am not dealing with this situation any longer. And it's good because you have another offer on the table. Um, so there could be something like that. Maybe it's a, a co-worker who throws you under the bus. You know, it could be anything like that, right? It could be a family member who's throwing you under the bus. Anything like that. And it's just like, Capricorns can take a lot, but at a certain point, you guys will snap. And it looks like, but remember, this is not a situation. It's not like, hey, my job was fine. You walk in one day and you're at the Ten of Swords. No, this is something that has been building. So it's just kind of like, okay, this is the end of that now. We're done with that. We're moving on. 
And look at this. Your next card is the Knight of Cups in the upright position. Water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising. This is another offer, Capricorn, coming in. Could be an offer of your dream job because oftentimes the Knight of Cups is doing just that. Um, if this is concerning a breakup, maybe yourself and your, uh, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend broke up or something like that, it could be that there is another offer right around the corner. Somebody's there to mend your broken heart. <laughs> it doesn't look like a broken heart. It looks more like a, whoa, somebody threw you under the bus here. But uh, Knight of Cups, this is beautiful energy. We call the Knight of uh, Cups the knight in shining armor. This is the romantic dreamer. But remember, too, this could be you. We can always embody the energies of these uh, court cards. So this could be you wanting to put an offer, a heartfelt offer, out to somebody else. This is beautiful, though, Capricorn. It looks like you could possibly, for some of you, you possibly have two separate offers that is coming in now it could be for anything could be for business could be for romance for some of you but whatever it is isn't this nice i mean especially after this <laughs> it could be that um this can even be a proposal perhaps for some of you because sometimes the knight of cups has shown up as a proposal it could be a business proposal but it could also be a romantic proposal but how beautiful is that moving on towards the weekend we have the Six of Swords. Isn't this nice? Watching you move on from this energy. Boy, you're moving on pretty quick here, Capricorn. The Six of Swords is moving away from emotional difficulties of the past and the rocky waters. Capricorn, if you were dealing with something lately that has been like just, oh, you know, I don't even know how much longer I can take this. Well, this week it looks like it's going to be the the final curtain the final straw here something is going to break here at the beginning of the week but look at how quickly you move on by the weekend you're already at the six of swords this is moving on from emotional difficulties of the past this is moving away this is a passage to potentially another place sometimes this can be moving homes moving offices going on a trip going on uh uh, you know, crossing water, that kind of thing. It can be literally moving, but it can also just be emotionally because water can indicate our emotions. So this could be moving on emotionally from uh, difficulties. And I think it's directly related to this Ten of Swords. Hmm. And the last card you have, look at this. It just keeps getting better and better. Now you have the Wheel of Fortune in the upright position. Um... Yeah, Capricorn, I've, uh, I have seen this Wheel of Fortune coming for you guys for a while now. And uh, I will be making that uh, horoscope, uh, the astrology video for you guys, I think, next early next month. Uh, yeah, there is something coming for you guys. And I think I've mentioned this before. Uh, this whole Pluto thing that has wreaked havoc in your life for the past, you know, since 2008 is finally finally going to be moving on i call this jupiter's wheel it's like the wheel of fortune when we're in the pocket when it's in the upright position we're moving with the energies of the universe and therefore the universe is handing us some really really nice synchronized coincidental beautiful moments right now it could be um, we walk into a store, we buy a lottery ticket and we win. It could be we go on the internet and someone is posting our dream job. We're looking for a home and boom, the perfect place shows up. It could be anything like that. Those are, you know, fluke things that do tend to unfold for us when we're moving in the right direction. When we're not doing anything to enter in uh, resistance to our energy field, things move a lot smoother. So it could be for some of you guys. And uh, what I was going to say about the Pluto thing is Pluto will be giving you guys um, a nice reward before it leaves. Now, I don't know when I, I need to do a little bit more research on that too that's why i'm doing the video um in a in a couple weeks i need to find out exactly when or how it's going to happen or unfold to some degree but you all will be getting some kind of reward a gift for enduring pluto in your first for so long but anyway, you guys, look at this. I think you're releasing something. This is a big release. You're letting go of something 
and because of that you're clearing your energy field and when you're clearing your energy field anything can happen wow this looks like i'm feeling really I, i'm blown away honestly by this reading capricorn i was not expecting this because your readings lately have just been kind of you know so so but wow this is really powerful this is really crazy <laughs> Crazy stuff. I can't wait to hear from you guys. Let me know what's going on, my cappies. But uh, I'll be pulling this card here for you right away. The Wisdom Oracle card. What do we have for the cappies? Number 47, Go the Distance. Hmm. Yeah, with this beautiful luck. And, and, well, maybe that's what it is. You know, it takes good luck to get two offers. Crazy. Crazy stuff. So thank you so much, Capricorn, for joining me. I really hope you have a fabulous, fabulous week ahead. And uh, just know that this Ten of Swords, it's a 10. So it's over and done with. And it looks like you're moving on quite quickly. So no need to worry. No need for me to have to worry about my cappies. You guys will be fine. <laughs> it looks like better than fine. Uh, thanks for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. And I really hope that the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you again in the next video. Take care. Much love. Namaste. Bye-bye for now.